A normal refrigerator functioning properly will cycle on and off about four to five times a day at about 30 minute intervals. Now if you have a refrigerator that seems like it's running all the time, maybe 45 minutes to an hour at a time, and it's cycling on and off maybe eight to 10 times a day, I'm gonna show you the probable cause. Follow along in the video, we'll get the refrigerator clean and get it running like new again. This is a nine year old Whirlpool refrigerator with the coil on the bottom. We're gonna pull this toe kick off and clean the coil. So I'm gonna bring the camera down close just to see how dirty and dusty this is under here. Now if you have a wood floor like this one or possibly ceramic tile, the fan from the refrigerator is gonna suck all that dirt, dust, and lint right under your refrigerator and help clog it up. That's what we need to get cleaned. Bring the camera down here close to the toe kick guard. And you should be able to see in there the coils and see how they're covered in dust. Well, they're not doing their job when they're completely covered in dust and lint. So we're gonna get this toe kick guard off and get that cleaned out. Now to get the toe kick guard off, you're gonna to wanna to open your refrigerator doors. And a lot of times there'll be a screw on each side of the toe kick guard. Now this one doesn't have a screw, so we're gonna go ahead and pry up from the bottom and out, and it will pop right off. As you can see, this clip right here, that's what snaps into that metal guard, and that's what holds it in place. Now with the toe kick guard off, let's take a look at what we're dealing with. Oh yeah, this is covered up pretty good with a lot of dust under there. Then we're going to get a shop vac and clean it all out. All kinds of dirt and debris, probably some food particles sucked under there. We're going to go ahead and roll the refrigerator out a little ways and vacuum underneath it as well. Now when you want to roll the refrigerator out, don't grab it from up here, don't grab it at the top. You want to be able to grab about right in the middle and it should roll straight out. Roll it out about halfway, take a look behind the refrigerator and make sure that you're not pulling the cord out from the wall. Roll it out in stages and just make sure that you're not pulling on the electric cord. Now that it's out far enough, we'll go ahead and clean underneath. So here you can see all that dirt, dust, and debris underneath the refrigerator. We're going to get all that vacuumed up and cleaned. That's not helping our cooling situation at all. Now we're going to go ahead and unplug the refrigerator and pull it out about another foot so we can get behind it. Now on the lower back side of the refrigerator you're going to have this cardboard cover with a vent on this side. You want to make sure that that is installed. You want to make sure that someone didn't take that off and throw it away because then it actually directs the airflow in the correct way on the back of the refrigerator. Now we're going to take this cardboard cover off and most of these have about five to six hex head and flat screws. They're normally quarter inch drive. We're going to go ahead and take all those out and remove that cardboard cover. Now with all the screws removed, go ahead and remove this cardboard cover. And sometimes you'll have a water line coming through one of these uh, slots right here. Uh, just go ahead and pull the cardboard out and then slide it down the line. So I'm going to bring the camera in up close. I'm just going to be using a standard shop vac to suck up all this lint and dust all over the inside of the refrigerator back here. Some refrigerators will have insulation on the bottom like this one, some will not. Just make sure you don't suck up any of that insulation. And then right back in here is the rear end of the coil. We're going to go ahead and vacuum that off as well.
With the rear lower section of the refrigerator all cleaned out, we're going to go ahead and replace the cardboard cover and then reinstall the screws. Now we can go ahead and plug the refrigerator back in and slide it back in place. Now that we've cleaned underneath the refrigerator, on the lower rear of the refrigerator, we're going to clean the front side of this coil. And now we need to reinstall the tow kick grill. Once again, you're going to open up both doors. And you can see the two metal clips that this is going to clip into. And I've washed off this grill. I'm just going to dry that off real quick. So that completes the job. Congratulate yourself on saving some time and money and not calling a repairman and hopefully fixing your refrigerator problem yourself. Now, normal cycle time on a refrigerator is four to five cycles a day, about 30 minutes per cycle. Now if you have a couple young kids that are opening and closing the doors more often, of course it's going to cycle more and probably longer. But those are normal operating condition cycle times. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope it was helpful and informational to you, and thanks for watching.